Good morning. This is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Seeing some partly sunny skies out there this morning as some of those clouds have built back in since the morning briefing and expecting that to continue as we move through today today. A mix of partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. We'll see uh, mainly dry conditions and slightly breezy conditions and just a very slight chance of maybe an isolated sprinkle as we move through today. Uh, today. We take a look at our current surface analysis. We have a boundary that is moved through uh, well off to the east and southeast, a weak area of low pressure along that boundary just off our coastline, expecting that to continue to meander and slowly deepen, but uh, not become anything uh, too significant as we go over the next couple of days and not expecting much of an impact from that, maybe some uh, uh, light moisture uh, swinging through the region as we move uh, over the next couple of days and then that area of low pressure should move well off the coast and uh, no longer in the area as high pressure begins to build into the uh, local region. We take a look at our upper level winds from this morning sounding, uh, seeing fairly variable wind direction as we move through the column here and overall fairly weak winds, seeing our uh, peak wind of 19 knots actually at 1,000 feet, uh, otherwise just seeing uh, 10 to 15 knot winds uh, through much of the column. And our freezing level today is at 12,900 feet. Taking a look at the local radar, as mentioned, not really tracking any issues across the area. Uh, just seeing some light showers or sprinkles off the coastline there. Uh, but over the last hour, seeing that dissipate and should move uh, to our east and out of the area. But again, just looking at very low end chance of a light sprinkle, but nothing too impactful to the local area and no lightning threat as we move through the day. We take a look at our current visible satellite. We can see uh, continue uh, cloudiness across the region, and uh, did see some sunshine this morning. And now looking at some uh, low cloud layer uh, starting to develop uh, once again with that sunshine over the local area. And again, expecting that to continue as we move through uh, much of the daytime today. Looking at the short term high resolution model again as we play through the day today, mix of partly to mostly cloudy skies, uh, low end chance of that light sprinkle, but overall things looking dry, slightly breezy, but uh, much better conditions than what we've seen the last couple of days. Uh, similar story as we move into the day on Friday, could see some patchy fog before sunrise, and then we'll continue to see partly to mostly cloudy skies, slightly breezy, and very low end chance of a light sprinkle, as you can see, uh, some light reflectivity being simulated here uh, on the model. And as we move into Saturday, once again, we'll see fairly similar conditions, possibly some increasing clouds as a potential uh, weak disturbance approaches the region, mainly later in the day on Saturday. If we take a look here, starting off Saturday morning, zoomed out uh, with our European model here, we'll see that weak disturbance start to approach the region as we approach Saturday evening and early Sunday morning. Much of the indicator precip here looks to fall apart. Uh, so looking at just a slight chance of maybe some light precip moving through the area for the early morning hours of Sunday, and then things dry back out once again. But we will see some uh, slightly breezy conditions on Sunday as well. And that will continue as we move into Monday as high pressure gradually builds into the region and keeps things fairly quiet as we move through much of next week and keeping some clouds around as well. But overall, looking mainly dry conditions through at least the first portion of next week, possibly seeing some uh, precip chances move in as we move later in the week, but uh, still a little far out to uh, give any significant confidence to that. So if we look at our 24-hour weather risk chart for today, expecting green conditions over the next uh, 24 hours, expecting those high temperatures getting up to around 77 to 78 degrees this afternoon. Again, mix of uh, sun and clouds. Uh, possibly seeing partly cloudy times and uh, other times seeing mostly cloudy skies. Uh, we'll see those winds out of the north, northeast, 7 to 12 knots, gusting up to 17 knots. And then we'll see those winds start to fall off as we go into the evening, becoming light and variable uh, during the morning time frame. And we'll see some decreasing clouds as well as that sun sets, allowing those temperatures to cool down to around 64 degrees for our Friday morning. Uh, right now, tides continue about a half of a foot above normal. Extended forecast here looking uh, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy and slightly breezy over the next two to three days. Uh, seeing those high temperatures right about the same, right around 77 to 78 degrees. Low temperatures in the lower 60s uh, as we get into the uh, weekend time. Again, that 
about a 20% chance of some rain moving through for the a.m. hours of Sunday, otherwise a breezy and partly to mostly cloudy day, uh, mostly cloudy as we move into Monday as well. We will see uh, as that little disturbance moves through a slight cool down in the temperatures, those high temperatures moving more into the low to mid 70s and our low temperatures right around 60. And that progresses as we move through the start of next week. Uh, we'll see uh, some decrease in the clouds as we move into the day on Tuesday, partly the most cloudy overall. And then we'll see, once again, some increase in the clouds as we move through the day on Wednesday, uh, possibly ahead of maybe some disturbed weather uh, moving into the area uh, for the end of the week. But again, a little far out to narrow that down. But uh, yeah, pretty nice day ahead today. And that's going to wrap up the... 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.